Hey guys, what's going on? Jared Bronstein here, and unfortunately, we got a rather scary story here for you today, more specifically for the vapors watching this one. Make sure you guys are subscribed and ring that bell so we can inform you of any updates to this story. But for now, let's just get right into it. Anthony May, a 19 year old man who's been vaping for about two years, is currently in the hospital after falling ill thanks to a buildup of solidified vape oil in his lungs. Anthony's father, Keith, was told by doctors that his son got the lungs of a 60 year old, two pack a day smoker, and that his lungs are are likely going to be scarred for life. Keith said over the two years his son had vaped flavored oils such as blue raspberry, Swedish fish, cotton candy, cinnamon toast crunch, and others. He also occasionally vaped THC, which is what gets you high when you smoke weed. Keith said, I quote, it's solidified, it's caking everything inside of his lungs. End quote. Anthony was first taken to the hospital on September 8th after he developed a bad cough. Doctors at first thought it was bronchitis and gave him an antibiotic to treat him. Two days after his condition worsened, he went to the emergency room. He was then prescribed a stronger antibiotic and steroid, with doctors under the impression he had pneumonia, which inflames your lungs and can cause them to fill with fluid. After another two days, the family visited their doctor because his condition still wasn't improving. The family doctor prescribed him a puffer and an even stronger antibiotic and steroid, but after his condition continued to get worse, he returned to the ER, where tests revealed his oxygen levels were at 36 percent. According to Mayo Clinic, anything below 90% is considered to be dangerous. Now I'm happy to report as of now Anthony is being taken care of at Mill Creek Community Hospital, where doctors have him hooked up to oxygen to help him breathe and cough up the oil built up in his lungs. Anthony's dad, Keith, explained, I quote, and then they heat the oxygen mixture and put a little moisture in it, so it will go in there and liquefy some of that stuff, the caked oil, and encourage him to cough it up. The first couple days he has been coughing and it was blood tinged. Now it's just brown, dark, dark green. He is going to have some scarring. Whether it's profound, we don't know yet. It's a wait and see type thing. He's young. He's 19, so he can recover from this. End quote. According to Keith, his son, who vaped about two or three times a day, believes the companies behind the product are specifically targeting younger adults and kids who don't realize how harmful the product can be to their health. He explained, I quote, the flavors that they're coming out with, it's not for your construction worker who can't afford to light up at a building that they're working, or the executive who is walking to a meeting smoking a cigarette. No. These flavors are all targeting kids or young adults. End quote. And I mean, he's kind of got a point, guys. If you really think about it, like, do you really think a mechanic or a construction worker, like Keith said, wants to smoke a cinnamon flavored vape? I mean, maybe they kind of want to. It's like, it's kind of like fruity drinks, you know? They taste good, but, you know, guys just drink beer. I don't know, it's like an unwritten rule, I guess. I'm not here for it. Either way, I agree with Keith and think these companies are 100% targeting young adults and teens. Unfortunately, it seems like it's a new trend that a lot of high school kids pick up on, and as fortunate as it is, it's quite evident that it needed to get to the point of people being hospitalized before the public started picking up on how bad this stuff can be for you. As always, I'm wishing the very best to Anthony and his family while he recovers from this, and we will update you guys should any other information come to light. I want you guys to feel free to leave your best wishes for Anthony in the comment section down below. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein, and we'll see you guys in the next video.